Hello and welcome to Robert's Guitars and Gear. I'm Robert. Thanks for watching today. Today I am going to do a comparison that I have wanted to do for a long time. I'm going to compare a Squire CV70's classic vibe Stratocaster that's been modified in very targeted ways to get to a kind of pro level equipment. I'm going to compare that with a brand new Fender Player Series HSS Stratocaster with mostly stock equipment right now. I'll show you a few things I've changed, but mostly stock. We're going to compare for the money between these two. Does it make sense to take a classic vibe, especially one if you like it, and modify it? Does it make sense to buy an ostensibly better guitar from the get-go, especially the, the really the next guitar up in the Fender lineup. So let's start with the classic vibe Strat. Again, it's a, a 70s. That Those differences between 50s, 60s, and 70s in the classic vibe mostly get at appearance type items. This has got this walnut brown black pick guard Absolutely looks like it was carved out of a piece of furniture. And I'm thinking one of those old 60s and 70s uh, stereo turntable things that your, your parents had in your house growing up. So let's talk about the basic specs and let's talk about what I've done to it. So this has got that ginormous 70s headstock. That's kind of a, you know, that's just an appearance thing. You like it or don't. Uh, it's got this that um, center load uh, Squire tuners that actually work just fine. So I've left those alone. You see, I've put in a Graph Tech string tree. I highly recommend that on the classic vibes. Came with a bone nut. Didn't mess with that at all. Came with a very dark Indian laurel fretboard. And actually really, really nice fretwork. Now, the classic Vibes have a tinted neck. It's not roasted maple, but it's tinted. And it looks great, and it feels great. Now, everyone that reviews a CV, uh, Squire says, oh, it's got a gloss back of the neck. I don't like that very much. Well, you take a green scotch bright to this slightly damp about 15 times, and uh, it turns into a really nice, smooth, satiny finish. It's a delight. It feels, I'll compare that to any guitar in my lineup. Now, it's 21 frets. And uh, for some of you, that's a showstopper. Not for me, but again, the kind of rhythm work I do, is, it's not, not a big deal. Uh, I'll get to pickups in a minute. What else have I done here? Well... This is a Music Lily Ultra PRS style bridge, 52 and a half millimeter string spacing, so it fits a strap. Got a ginormous brass block. So this is the heaviest thing I've ever seen in my life as a bridge, but man, is it nice. And you see the brass saddle, smooth. It's a beautiful bridge. I have uh, also, you can't see it, but inside, I have replaced the wire harness and pots, the whole wiring, with an obsidian uh, classic or vintage stra custom strats. Let's see if I can get that right. I'll put it in the description, a link. An obsidian custom strat HSS wire harness. Finally, and, and that includes both a new switch, jack, as well as the pots and wiring. Finally, I have messed with the pickups. In the neck is a DiMarzio Area 58 noiseless strap pickups. Really a humbucker, it's stacked humbucker. Uh, it sounds amazing. It absolutely sounds amazing. In the middle, I said, well, you know, I don't play the middle much. I have a Wilkinson M style strat to middle pickup. Uh, and it's fine. It's very similar to a player series pickup. I have a Seymour Duncan Trembucker in the bridge. And uh, I'm not going to do an extensive playing demo today. But all these pickups 
these pickups sound great. Again, this neck is the Highland. It's just lush and shiny. If I go to the middle, the Wilkinson it is a quite adequate pickup. It's a good replacement for for a CV pickup. Now, CV pickups are not bad. They're quite good. So I don't know if on YouTube you'll be able to hear the, dif you'll hear the difference, but um, it's not a bad pickup, but it's not in the same league as this neck. Now, the Seymour Duncan's a Seymour Duncan. It's fabulous. I'm not going to do a demo on that because you know what they, they sound like. It just sounds great. So again, by taking a, 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 a classic vibe strat, the price range, you know, I don't, I haven't looked it up today, but you know, we're around $400 ish. I've put in about $275 of mods, very carefully targeted to what I actually play and do. Uh, and what I have is absolutely a spectacular guitar. It, it, it feels great. The fretwork is just as good as any guitar I own. Uh, this Indian Laurel fretboard, it's dark and moody. The, the, the body is finished beautifully. Uh, and then with these upgrades, and, and I have to say that wire harness may be the biggest one. It's just unlocked this guitar. The bridge is beautiful. Now, probably a less expensive player series kind of bridge would be just fine too. Um, but it's got, you know, with the switch and the jack, it's just, it's a pro level guitar that's, you know, come out in the same price range as a Fender player, maybe a little bit less. And I just love it. So now let's talk about this player series strat. Now, first of all, this is 2024. You're going to say, Robert, you really should do a player two. The player one is, you know, the old model. Well, first of all, the player one is about $200 cheaper where you can find it new compared to player two. And, and let's talk about those differences quickly. What do you get with a player two? Well, you get a rosewood fretboard. Okay. I did uh, some treatment on this, which I'll talk about in a separate video. And this, this uh, Palfero fretboard looks pretty good. Okay, it's not a rosewood, but you know. Second thing you get is rolled fretboard edges. Well, you know what? I took about 30 minutes and rolled these fretboard edges myself, and they're fine. Um, player two has allegedly better uh, tuning keys. Well, I got Fender locking tuning keys. And you know what, those three things together, and I'm still not at the price difference between what I found this guitar for in Guitar Center new and a player two. Now I'm not critiquing the player two uh, and they have some beautiful options that are lighter with different tone woods, but this is Alder, uh, just like the classic vibe and it's beautiful. Now let's talk about the comparison to the classic vibe now that I've gotten the question of the player two out of the way. Um, first of all, my big observation is the fret work was okay, is not nearly as good as the classic vibe. Now that was a big surprise to me, but it's just, it's undeniable. Now that's fixable. I have come in and filed the fret ends, uh, and sanded and, uh, they're fine, but they're still after all that, not as nice as the classic vibe. Go figure. Uh, the body, this body's beautiful. I love the look of this guitar. It's just spectacular. Looks great. You know the player series. The, the, the hardware's fine. The hardware is pro level. It works fine. The bridge is fine. The pots are fine. Uh, the wiring is fine. The jack is fine. Now, of course, can they be improved? Yes, of course they can be improved. But, you know, for a guitar to gig with, to play regularly, to use as your main guitar, it's totally fine. Not a problem and that's the, the same player one or player two. Now, pickups, pickups, guess what? They're the same. 
So whether you buy a player one or player two, pickups are the same. Uh, so where does that put us? Well, these pickups are completely fine. That's the neck. If I go to the middle, a little brighter. They're fine, but you know what? They're not as good as the DiMarzio area pickups, and, and I wouldn't expect them to be. Those DiMarzio pickups are, you know, premium uh, pickups. So this guitar, even though it's, even at the cheaper price I got it for, about the same cost to me as the modified Classic Vibe, the Classic Vibe is at this moment a better guitar. It feels uh, better in the neck. Uh, it sounds better. Um, I'm going to say the the humbucker in this player series really is a good is a good humbucker. It's it's a vintage kind of output humbucker. It's eight in eight or so kilo ohms. It sounds great. I really maybe that trembucker that Seymour Duncan's a slightly better, but the differences are just more taste than they are quality. Uh, again, these pickups are fine, but I just have a I have a, a, a little bit more clear, crisp, and lush neck pickup. Now, this middle pickup compared to that uh, Wilkinson uh, Music Lily M, it, it's a wash. Uh, maybe this one's a slightly better, but it's it's really close. Um, again, a totally usable guitar. I really love this. It looks great. But my conclusion is this. When you like a classic vibe, you like the appearance of it, for example, um, the feel of it, the neck size, you can carefully target modifications to it that, that make that classic vibe a pro level guitar. I don't, you know, I don't know how that might compare to a Fender USA made, but in terms of a guitar that will be reliable, durable, stand up to heavy use, play nicely. You, you know, you, you, you're not going to go wrong with the player. I, I think the player is a great guitar. And of course, I could modify the pickups. In fact, I do have an Area 58 on order for this one in the neck. Um, when I do that change, they're going to be quite similar, but the neck is still not quite as nice as the, as the Squire. But uh, if you like that CV, you you can have a great guitar for around the price of a new player two. You can have a great guitar. If that's not your thing and you don't want to do those changes, you can buy yourself a player one cheaper and do a couple of these things yourself. Or you can buy a player two, have it done for you, be on your way. All of them are good choices. All of them, you know, are terrific, very usable guitars. And nothing that I did on either one of these guitars is outside of what you can do yourself with just a little bit of research, look at some videos, read about it. Uh, I am not a luthier. I'm not a person with special uh, handyman skills or craftsman skills. I'm just a working engineer who's done a lot of things over the years. Um, either way, you're not going to go wrong. I hope this video is helpful to you. And I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.